Nashville, Tennessee with Sean Tubbs. Hey, everybody. Now, this is a good story because Sean doesn't know this, and I'm going to spring this one on him, but we're from the same neighborhood, and I remember being a kid and super into gear, and there was this guy, that the, a mutual friend we have, named Devin DeVore. Devin. And I used to be like, <laughs> okay, so Devin, who like in town is like the best player that you know that's really good with you? He's like, oh, well, well just this guy, Sean Tubbs. And I'm like, okay, where's he at? He works at the Mason Boogie store. I'm like, you think he'd give me lessons? And, and uh, he's like, go, go try it. That's so funny, man. And, you so, about any of that and so I remember being 18, like, and my first, my first uh, vision was, it was at the first boogie store. And I walked in, and, and it was when the rectifiers just came out. Yeah. And I remember walking in, and you were in that little room <laughs> and hearing just Eric Johnson riffs just fly out. I was just like, <laughs> oh my God. And then I went up to you, and I'm like, dude, please give me lessons. And you're like, no. <laughs> You're like, but, but you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm still yes, you, I'm like, but you do. And you're like, no, really. And I was just like, okay, fine. So it's taken me 20 years. Oh my gosh. That is so funny, man. Because I remember those days. Like, yeah. it's all coming back. So I remember building that room, yeah. drywalling walling that room, and yeah. playing like way too loud in that Dude. room. And... Oh, but it was so fun. I remember as a kid walking in, it was like, there's like three dual rectifiers mm -hmm. plugged in and then yeah. four cabinets. And you're just like, oh my God, yeah. I, I found Valhalla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so, so funny, man. <laughs> by the way, I'm going to put Sean's stuff down below. He does awesome. I mean, I'm sure you've seen it already, but does awesome gear tutorials. Terrifying guitar player. And I was trying to get out of you today how you do it. And you're basically like, yeah, it's just a, a note that's a half step away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it, it became very clear when you did a simple mm -hmm. blues lick. And so I think when people hear people play these kind of outside licks, they, they think it has to be some... You know, mystical theory explanation, and it's and it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I can't. I don't really think that way. Yeah. Um, my my whole thing has always been. It's like it's like I told you the old jazz trick. Yeah. It's like find the wrong note or the right note, yeah. and start above it or below it. Yeah. So if we're doing the C jam. Yeah. Well, right there, it's like, well, there's the third. Yeah. So you can start here, or you can start here. Yeah. Or you can. Right, slide in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, do you do that like, uh, here, let me just play a C chord. And like, so give me an example of like some ways you get into it. So, yeah, if we're looking at just a, a straight ahead scale, yeah. like it's a straight C minor ahead blues yeah. yeah. Well, I might go. And all I, all I did, I stayed in that box, but I just slid yeah. down to the right note. Yeah. And then wrong note, wrong note. Right. And then right note. So. So it's more about build it, building up the fluidity of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it. You can't just do that and then not show it. Okay. So. But give, I, it, give I just, us an idea I, I of what that was. I just kept the same concept. Yeah. So it's the same thing. We're still looking at this scale. Yeah. But like, what was an example of what you did in that last little? It's the same thing. It's the same concept. You know? Yeah. Anywhere. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's all the same notes. You know, so, you know, if you're going to go, why not go? Right. So, I... Yeah. You know, wrong -o, Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> really wrong. Right. Right. Kind of cool. Then, yeah. You know, and then... Right, wrong. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just I shouldn't call it that because there there aren't wrong notes. Yeah. it's just there's outside 
the key center or yeah, tonality. But notes. it happens yeah. to sound really cool because it, your ear is is constantly being tweaked, mm -hmm. and then you resolve it. Right. You yeah, I mean? and that's the key because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not good enough at it to yeah. just keep doing it the whole time. Yeah. So I, I got to come back to home base. Yeah. But even like the concept of sliding in and out of notes, we can take literally and see you got. Yeah. So why not go. Cause that's all, that's all that is. So how would you go from one, um, like if you, do you know the pentatonic positions? Like, do you know if I say two or whatever? Uh, the next one up, how about that? Yeah, yeah right, so right here. Well, yeah. How would you, how would you go from like, using that kind of a thing from, you know, two to one? Like, how do you travel with Yeah, it? well I've got certain shapes that I'll use to get into, from, you know, basically one position to the next. Uh -huh. um, that's a big shape for me. Okay, so what did you do? It's literally... Okay. Okay, and that came from listening to Django. Okay. Django Reinhardt. Yeah. And right. if you listen to like Limehouse Blues, and there's a few songs where he does this... Uh, hey, what's him? up with the two fingers? And just terrifying guitar player. I, I don't know. <laughs> somebody, somebody told me, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah. They're like, yeah, just watch him, and I'm like, he's got two fingers. Like, yeah. what? Well, How do you do that? The, the story I heard was, it was a fire. Yeah. Um, uh, but like the sounds he gets, it's like oh, it's insane. <laughs> but I, I and I, I know he, from what I, I've heard, he played that well before. Yeah. But the it seems like the accident really because he was, still had a passion for playing guitar. It yeah. Just honed this whole new melodic sensibility and the way he played chords. You know, he could really yeah. only just play triads. Yeah. And so he had to make that work. Yeah. And, and because of that, it just became so musical. Just a monster. Yeah, and, and I would hear him do stuff like... You know, yeah. Right. But for me, what I... Because it's more gypsy jazz. Totally, yeah. yeah. But what I gravitated to was that shape. Okay. You know, so... So how does that, how does that uh, superimpose over... So in the key of C where we were... Yeah. You can use it in a couple different spots. Um, I like it here. Okay. Because it... So Honestly, what, are the, what are the frets? What, uh, uh, so that's a uh, G string 12th fret. Uh-huh. And then the B string uh, 11th fret. Uh, okay. G tenth. string 10th fret, yeah. sorry. And then uh, E string right. uh, 11th fret. Interesting. Because so the typical shape is... Right. So right. that over the top of it. What a trip. But when you think about what blues players do... Right. So you kind of would... I would, I would or, do basically slide oh, I'm, into I'm, it. I'm, 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 but I'm you away. just nailed right it, though. Yeah. Because that's the thing. You slide into it. Yeah. What a trip. Oh, right, because position one's right here. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, so if what you're... What a trip. Yeah, so check it out. If you're here... Yeah. Dude. And, and then you're here. Yeah. You know. Right. And then this... Yeah, that, okay. that gets a little more complicated. Like that's not. That's. <laughs> Is there just no rhyme or reason that you can just? Yeah, well, you can get. Yeah. So where does that thinking even come in? Like what? That's that's more based on shapes. Okay. Like this is a shape. Yeah. And then we all know this power chord shape. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh huh. So I started doing this stuff based on those two shapes. Put together. Yep. Because what I did is I started looking at this shape going, okay, that's simple, but what's the outside note? It's there. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at this shape. Well, what's the inside notes in that shape? Actually, all of them. Yeah. It's just blues at that yeah. point. So. Break that down so I can do that. So, um, so here's the shape. Yeah. Now, if you go. That's right. still... So it's almost like an arpeggio at that yeah. point. At that point, I went to this shape, yeah. which is another shape I love. Okay. So you got three. Wait, show them the three shapes in that one so spot. So there's this shape. Uh-huh. Which is, you, we broke down those frets. Well, what's the next one? This shape. Okay. Which is, you know... It's like 10, 12, whatever. Uh, I yeah, 10, 12, 13. Okay. All so, right. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Ozzy Osbourne. It's chord. literally... <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, Bark it's, at the moon. It's a power chord. Yeah. 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 That shape, and then... That shape, which is 13, 12, 10. Interesting. Okay. Which I actually got from that oh, chord. Check you out, yeah. chord man. Fancy. <laughs> so fancy. 
Um, <laughs> um, but the that that whole thing was basically me going, okay, I, I got this weird. Now where do I go? Yeah. I've, I've only got a couple choices. I can go down. How do I get back to here? And that's yeah. when I was like, oh wait a second. Now oh, I'm. Oh right. Now I'm here. Yeah, you're sliding into it. You're leading Same into your time, next shape. I'm leading into the next mistake. You're so in shape. <laughs> shape master. It's leading into the next mistake. But so you you're know, a modern day shape shifter. Yes. <laughs> Insert bad joke. I, it's uh, my, it's been a long it, night, everybody. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so I mean, it 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 can get a little complicated. Yeah. But my, it's really not if if I'm looking at shapes. Right. But it's a starting point for people to like. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I, I would say the most important starting point mm -hmm. for really is the stuff I was showing you, like that. Yeah. So start there. Yeah, because you can slide into all the stuff you already yeah. do. Like if you're going like. Yeah. You know, then. Sure. You know, even that. Yeah. Or, yeah. Nice. But but just think about you know just. I always t it boils down to you just use your imagination. When yeah. you're in a rut, right. it's like some of my favorite guys, uh, who's uh, Phil X. Yeah. That, that guy cat, is freaking terrifying. Oh, he's dude. insane. <laughs> but but I've seen him do it. He'll he'll come up, he'll have a pattern. Yeah. But he doesn't just go, okay, well, that's a cool pattern. He's yeah. like, well, what if I move it? Yeah. Where does this all go? Yeah. And and that's kind of what I do. Yeah. It's like I'll try and just move something around and I'll find the one thing that doesn't fit and fix that note. Yeah. And then it becomes my yeah. Thing. So I think it's really important for players to really don't get so bogged down in trying to learn a new scale or a mode. Right. Look at what you're already doing. Yeah. It's all those notes there. There's just you know endless possibilities sure. without learning a scale. Yeah. You can still just. You know. So when 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 I go to like to the four chord, do all those shapes shift to fit, or like how does that? Um, yeah. So if I, you know, now all of a sudden we're... Yeah, I tend, I tend to stay still in the same, the same spot. box, but okay. what I'll do is I'll add a lot more of, it becomes a third of that chord. Yeah. But I still see it as the sixth okay. of the jazz, you know, okay. the, of the dominant chord. Or the, yeah. Uh, you see, know. listen, you know a lot more than you need not. Uh, no. <laughs> you lost me. I'm like the sixth of the, wait, wait a second. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, so you know the dominant like C dominant seven, yeah. which is the root chord okay, we're playing. Sure. Yeah. To, oh, I get what you're saying. That's the, the piece of that other chord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and I could look at it and go, okay, well, when we go to F, that's now the third, and it yeah. is. Yeah. But for me, I'm, I I try to keep it more. Uh, I call it like just common tones. I, yeah. I play in such common tones, and sometimes that's not such a great idea, Yeah. especially when you're playing by yourself, sure. because you're not spelling out the changes as well. Yeah, right. But for me, it's like, yeah, you could stay in that same box, like play the uh, okay. F. The F, yeah. You're just going to Yeah, add. right. Yeah, you're landing on the yeah. important chord. You're landing on, on the third of, that, of really the chord. Play that one, what is it? Slow. Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But if, yeah, if you play it, you know, fast enough. Do so you do you play with um, kind of a swing feel when you do it, or like what? Are you straight uh, no, or it, like? I, it's straight, yeah, because yeah. that's the one thing I do suck at. Like, uh, swing is uh, tough. It's real tough. Yeah. Um, uh, Josh Smith, good lord, oh can that guy play over a shuffle oh, or a swing? It's ridiculous. But see, for me, when it's you know, I'll play straight. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually kind of works. You know, um, oh, it sounds killer. It does. Yeah. But if someone says, hey, man, can you just keep it shuffled? I'll be like, no. 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 That's not who I am as a player. <laughs> That's not what I did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I tend to just want to play straight. And even, I won't even shuffle fast. You know? Yeah. I'll still pretty much keep it straight. Okay, melt your pit there, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. Nah. It was illegal in this here part. <laughs> Don't you realize you're in Tennessee? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> fat and ribs, boy. Which is crazy, because Tennessee, like, I, I say this on every t every time I come to Nashville, but like, I'll walk into a music store and there's some freaking 14 year old oh. kid, like, 
what the hell is it with this town? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, that was the first thing I realized when I moved here. I was like, I play pretty good, and guess what? Nobody gives a crap. <laughs> Nobody cares. Because <laughs> if you get the coffee, you get the yeah. coffee, and there's somebody in the background just yeah, playing. Deep, just, deep, 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 yeah, just like, some crazy... Oh, my God. Yeah, just some crazy dude that's just mind-boggling. Yeah. So it, that's, it's so funny. I, it's, it, you know, it, it, at first it was really disheartening, yeah. and I was like, well... Yeah. What are you going to do, man? Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, it's so inspiring. When oh, you, yeah. When you cause... get over that, like, initial shock. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, because, I, you know, I was hearing, you know, Daniel Donato, I think. That yeah. It's crazy. Oh, that's uh, so good. And then, of course, uh, God, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, he's so good. Uh, he's, he does so much rock, but dude can play country all day long. JD, uh, Simon. Oh, yeah. Dude, that guy is ridiculous. Good showman, too, man. Oh, he's a great showman. Yeah. I was watching him going up. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And then, of course, Guthrie. Yeah. And, and then you got the session cast, Rob McNelly. And, Rob uh, is so... He's a beast. Well, and, and the funny <laughs> thing was, is I remember doing <laughs> videos with him, and he's always playing this, like, really melodic, singer songwriter cool mm -hmm. stuff. And, like, you know, I'd seen him play uh, at his gigs, mm -hmm. which he does cut loose. Oh, yeah. But, like, we were um, in his house, and he was... You know, just kind of warming up, and all of a sudden he started doing like these '80s sweet picking. Like I was just mm -hmm. like, like terrifyingly fat. I was just yeah. like, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's he's like, I just don't care. Like he's yeah. like, I like music, you know. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, wow. Yeah. But it was just unexpected, you know. Yeah, because there's there's the cats that you'll you'll see that are you know just blazing yeah. fast country chicken picking yeah. stuff. That's kind of all they do. Yeah. But it is haunting. Yeah. And then there's rob yeah cats like him that will scare you to death because yeah. you'll think you got him figured out yeah. it's like, oh, okay yeah gotcha and then no and then and then and was, that way too oh, God, like, is too. anything he wants and actually so can josh smith yeah i mean josh isn't from nashville but josh is the same way you yeah. think oh he's just a killer blues player yeah. it's like oh no 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 yeah <laughs> he'll play anything he here wants. comes a van halen <laughs> yeah he just like <laughs> he likes to play the blues yeah but that dude can play anything he wants and those are the guys that haunt me yeah and especially like rob uh is so much more of a parts composer just on the fly too it's yeah. so trippy and he's yeah. so good with um effects and all that other stuff too. just like man genius at it yeah <laughs> so that's the thing nashville per capita per square yeah. inch i've never seen anything um, like it i you never will and my favorite is when you go when you go to get a cup of coffee and you're used to it, like everybody like having like some sort of businessy thing on their mm -hmm. laptop and everybody's mixing so oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's literally wave files just going by i know it's so funny but yeah, and, and L.A. is great, too. I live yeah. in L.A., but the thing with L.A. is L.A. So, is so spread out. out. Yeah. Here, it's like, man, if you go get a burrito someplace, yeah. you're probably going to meet Pat Buchanan or some right. Skaggs or some crazy cat behind you to yeah. recognize the voice. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You know, yeah. That's how it was for me. I was running into guys where I wouldn't even say hi because I was scared to death, Bert yeah. Mason or whatever, and I'd be like, holy crap, you, there you can't get a cup of coffee yeah. without some cat yeah you know? rob and i went to go pick up a, a guitar case and uh I, hey rob and turn around to vince gill i'm just yeah. like dude how random is that like oh, yeah. it's insane and then, yeah. then there's you know guys like i said like uh, there's a guy across the street named uh, tom worth sings like yeah. a mofo and writes songs all day long dude where's your band I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah all that to say nashville yeah yeah it's a good place yes so any tips you pick up which, since you moved here, like that influenced your playing anyway? Um, you know, honestly, and this is going to sound weird, the the one thing I've learned is you have to sound like you. Yeah. And I, I tell a lot of guys this, it's like spend way more time, it's like, you know, it's like you can take like the Bob Dylan song, you're mm -hmm. going to have to serve somebody. Yeah. He hit the nail on the head, but you're also going to have to sound like somebody. Yeah. But, but here's the deal, I always tell guitar players, look man, spend way less time trying to sound just like another guitar player yeah. and spend way more time trying to figure out how to get those guitar players to want to sound like you. Yeah. And and the way to do that is don't, you know, because I'll catch kids killing it on the, the old television scene, yeah. um, playing an exact Brent Mason thing. Yeah. Exact note for note, perfect. They sound just like Brent or they sound just like Paisley. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's really cool. Yeah. But guess what? There's already Brad Paisley. Yeah. And, and <laughs> they're still better than you. Yeah. Um, so that's the thing I learned. Well, because they came up with it. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's like, that's exactly. a whole different. Yeah. So it's like, if you, if you want to do chicken picking sessions and demos and stuff like that, you need to be able to do it a little bit. Yeah. But for me, I, I learned, it's like, man, I need to just sound as much like me as possible. Yeah. 
because it, it's important for yeah. as a guitar player to really kind of have some sort of signature because otherwise you're just that Brent Mason clone. Yeah. And as cool as that yeah. is, because man, playing like yeah. But Brent's, but they'll call Brent if they want Brent. Yeah, Brent's still here, man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you know, you know, Brad Paisley is still here. It's yeah. like I love Brad Paisley yeah. playing because he's. I, he, to me, he's like the Django Reinhardt of Telecaster yeah. players because he just does stuff. Crazy. Speaking of like wrong, yeah. But if, all those like, open if you notes. Spoke, oh my god! So and it's good. just yeah, he's haunting, but he's he's already done that. Yeah. You know? So I mean, that's the I guess that's what I've learned the quickest was, you know, because I felt like oh god, I got to learn all that yeah. country. I got to play just like that. Yeah. And even with Carrie, you know, the only song. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, Sean plays uh, with Carrie Underwood as a guitar player <laughs> in the band. But, you know, even with her, she didn't do that much country stuff. I yeah. mean, you got Tom Bukovac. Dude. Speaking of... Yeah. Dude, yes. talk about a freak of nature. Yeah, he's insane. That guy is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much, like, m one of my very favorite players yeah, of all time. Yeah. As, as a session player, but also as a dude to, that just sits down and plays. Yeah. I just love to hear him play, but, but like, Tom's doing basically rock and roll stuff yeah. on there. And, and, and basically Dude, all, how's the, you know, the, the one lick we were talking about, the one in last name? Oh, yeah. Can you play that? <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I'd have to be detuned. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I know I don't play it right. Yeah. But I remember that... That... Oh, uh, so good. And then it's it's detuned, but yeah, yeah. You know, and then, you know, and then he walks out. But oh, I remember that's when right. I first I remember when I first heard that I was like I'm gonna murder that guy. Yeah, because I got to sit and it's learn this. It's so hard. Yeah, because yeah, it sounds like it's easy till you sit yeah. down and play it. It's, it's all not, triplets. Yeah. But it's it's like a drummer trying to like yeah do like uh, some sort of crazy triple McHugh whatever thing. Yeah. It's literally what it was. It took me a long time. Yeah. And I still, I don't think I ever... It's hard. Like, I'm sure, yeah. you know, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. I, I was like, this is a great song. It's not going to be that bad. And the chords uh -huh. are really easy. Yeah. There's nothing to it. And yeah. I was just like, are you freaking kidding yeah. me? And just that. It's right at the very end, too. Yeah. Like, just when you think, you're like, oh, yeah. this is no Yeah, because the fiddle solo, you're like, oh, good, fiddle solo. I'm off the hook. And then there it is. <laughs> Dang it! Ten, ten, it's just like 10 seconds, too. And you're just like, really? Yeah, and no. it's just the way the aggression. Yeah. Like, the way he bent into the yeah. notes, I still can't do it. Yeah. Like, My just... favorite thing still I've seen of him is the thing he did for Jeff Sin. Oh, yeah. It's just so, yeah, like, it's just move. I mean, it's just like, yeah. oh, man, it's freaking awesome. It's yeah. a good town. Okay, so anyways, sorry. <laughs> I, I took us on, like, a 30-minute detour. That's the truth, though, man. That's, that's, that's all Nashville truth right there, baby. Okay, so <laughs> moral of the story, you're, you're a half step away. Yes. Slide up in. Up or down. Up or down. Yeah, yeah. Give uh, us one last little taste of something. So, like... Oh, that was great. Do that, do that and then we'll be done. Uh, so that's, that's, you know. So. So good. It's, it's all. <laughs> Same thing. I just up, up above the wrong, right. wrong note. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Still keep going, up. keep going. There we go. <laughs> exactly. Dude, that's so awesome. Well, thank you so much for yeah. showing us. That was freaking awesome. Of course. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I'm, I'm going to put all Sean's stuff below. Make sure you check him out. His YouTube channel is awesome. If you are, well, this is dangerous because once you start watching the gear videos, yeah. you're like, I need that. Oh my God, I need that too. Oh my God. So just be forewarned, your yeah. bank account after seeing his channel will diminish. <laughs> but don't drag me into the... But <laughs> you blame it on Sean. Yeah. Like, and Sean made me That's do it. I was telling him. I was like, don't drag me into this, man. <laughs> All I did was downwind. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's your problem. All right, we'll catch you next time.